Now let us discuss here about the differences between where, let and conistic keywords in JavaScript. In JavaScript, in order to declare a variable, mainly we use three keywords. They are where, let and conistic keywords. First, let us see about what is the use of a where keyword. Here, the variables which are declared with where keyword have either global scope or local scope. Global scope, global scope or local scope. Local scope can also be called as function scope. So, uh, uh, where variables have global scope or function scope. So, first let us see about what is a global variable. Global variables are declared on top of all the functions. We can make use of global variable in the entire program. Here A is declared on top of function F1. So we can call A as global variable. So we can make use of A in the entire program. So here A is displayed. A is accessed inside F1 function as well as outside the function also. So A will be displayed in, our, in, the, in the two cases. So A is 10, A is 20. But coming to B, B is declared inside F1 function. So B has local scope. So local scope means those variables will be used inside a function in which they are declared. So we can make use of B only inside F1 function only. Here inside F1 function, B is accessed. So B is 20 will be printed. Next year we call F1 function. So whenever we call F1 function, control goes to the F1 function definition and the statements will be executed. And after the F1 function, outside the F1 function, here we have displayed A value, B value. Here, if we display A value, A will be displayed. Why? Because A is declared as a global variable. But coming to B, B is declared inside F1 function. So it is not possible to access B outside F1. So if we try to access B, then we will get the error message. Okay. Now let us run the program. Let us run the program. Let us run the program. So if you run the program here, if you run the program here, here F1 function is called and uh, A is displayed, B is displayed. What is A value? 10, B is 20. So here A is displayed, A is 10, B is displayed, B is 20. And after F1 function card, A is, A is displayed one more time. So A is 10. But here, while displaying the B, we got an error. B is not defined. Why? Because here B is a local variable. We can't access B outside your fun function. So this is the advantage of where keyword. So where keyword variables have either uh, global scope or function scope. Now let us see about the next one. The next one is let keyword. So let keyword have the variables which are declared with let keyword have block scope. Block scope. So what is a block? Block means a collection of statements, a collection of statements enclosed in curly braces. Enclosed in curly braces. It may be function or it may be if or it may be else or it may be any loop, for loop, while loop, do while loop. If you place, if you declare a variable inside the curly braces, with the help of the let keyword, then we can make use of that variable only inside that block only. Outside the block, it is not possible to access the to access that variable. So let us modify this program with the help of the let keyword. With the help of the let keyword. Here let us have let. So let b is equal to 20. Let b is equal to 20. Here this is also a block. Why? Because here uh, let us have uh, a, let a is equal to 10, let a is equal to 10, let us remove the statement, let us place uh, uh, the statement within the comment, let us remove the statement, okay, yeah, if you see here, here f1 function is called, so control goes to the f1 function definition, a is 10, here what is a, a is declared with the help of the let keyword, so what is let keyword, let keyword has block scope, what is a block, a collection of statements which are enclosed in the curly braces, 
so we can uh, make use of a inside this function inside this block so there is no problem if you run the program then we will get a value a is 10 so there is no problem okay next let us have uh, uh, let us have uh, if so if uh, let the condition is true so true means the condition will always be true so inside this one let us have uh, another variable called b so let b is equal to 20 let b is equal to 20 uh, let us display b value let us display b value so b is b b is b so now let us see what is the output for this program uh, here there is no need of this statement so let us uh, remove the statement permanently okay so here f1 function is called so control goes to the f1 function here uh, a is declared inside this block f1 block okay so we can make use of a inside the function inside the entire function there is no problem if true here b is declared inside the inside this if so we can make use of b only inside the if only so outside the yeah here let us close if also let us close if let us close if we can make use of b only inside the if so here a is printed b is printed so there is there is no problem so a is 10 b is 20 will be printed a is 10 b is 20 will be printed if you see here a is 10 b is 20 got printed now let us display b outside the if block let us display b outside the if block control s can we use b outside the if block no it is not possible why because b is declared with let keyword so let keyword have block scope so we can make use of b only inside if only outside if it is not possible to access b so if we try to access b then it will give error messages if we observe here b is not defined so can we access a outside the outside the if can we access a outside the if let's see here yeah we can access a outside the if why because a is declared inside the f1 function so we can make use of a in the entire function so there is no problem a value will be printed there is no problem okay a value got printed but b is not printed so this is about uh, the advantage of the the advantage of the let keyword and where keyword okay now let us see about uh, 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 the advantage of the polished keyword let a is 10 let a is 10 next uh, uh, change the value of a a is 20 next to change the value of a change a to 30 so initially a has 10 next a value change it to 20 next a value change it to 30 if you try to display a then which value will be displayed then 30 will be displayed if you see the output here so 30 got displayed so that means if a variable is declared with let keyword or where keyword then we can change the value of the a where we can change the value of the variable but if a variable is declared with honest keyword then it is not possible to change the value if we try to change the value then javascript interpreter will use the error message so let's let's see here here a is declared with the constant keyword so that's why we got error message type error sn mean to constant variable so this is the advantage of the var let and constant keyword now let's see one more example <coughs> one more example on var and let keyword so let us display a value without declaring a so here without declaring a we we have displayed a now let us observe what is the output let us observe the output a is not defined why because here a is not defined without defining the a just we are displaying the a now after this statement after displaying let us have a value so where a is equal to 10 where a is equal to 10 now let us see what is the output let us see what is the output here if you see here here we got an output what is that output a is undefined so this is the disadvantage of the var keyword here initially we have displayed a value but after that we declared a even though we are not getting any error message here this is the problem with the var keyword after displaying a variable after that we can declare the variable there is no problem here with the help of the var keyword so this is the problem with the var keyword okay here initially we have displayed a but after that it is initialized after that 
it is declared so javascript interpreter has to display some error message but error message is not displayed so this is the problem with the var keyboard in order to overcome this problem we have to use the let keyboard okay uh, let us uh, place the statement in the comment uh, here we have the, uh, not declared any variable you have not declared any variable let us see what is the output let us see what is the output yeah a is not defined so we got error message okay we got error message now let us declare the variable with the help of the let keyword if we declare the variable with the help of the var keyword then we will get some message as a is undefined okay but we if we declare the variable with the help of the let keyword then we will get the error message what is that error message can't access a before initialization but if we use var keyword we can access a before the initialization so this is the problem with the var keyword so that's why it is better to use let keyword instead of the var keyword so this is about uh, the differences between var let and constant keyboards constant keyboards in javascript